Hi, you're watching What's in the Box with Dustin from Advanced Adapters. Today we're going to take a look at the 715545 transfer case shifter linkage bracket. The 715545 is for use when replacing the Peugeot transmission with either the AX15 or the NV3550. So let's go ahead and take a look on the table and see what you get when you buy the 715545 from Advanced Adapters. First of all, you get the instructions, which are going to be very helpful. Uh, they have lots of great photos in here that uh, show exactly how the whole thing goes together. Um, along with the instructions, the most important part is the hardware. You get the main bracket piece here, which is used both on the 3550 and the AX15. You get the supplemental support bracket, which is used on the AX15 application, and you get the hardware. Quick rundown on the hardware, you have the 1032 10, 3 quarter inch hex head cap screws. These are for the shifter gates along with the plated lock nuts for those. You get the 3 8 16 grade 5 plated lock nut for use with the main shifter handle that goes through the bracket. You get the bolt and washer for attaching the bracket to the transmission itself. And then you get the bolts nuts and lock washers for attaching the supplemental bracket to the main bracket in the case of you're using the 3550 transmission. So that's basically what you're getting. The rest of the parts you're going to be required to use are from your stock transfer case shifter um, and we'll go over that here in the next section where we show this kit being applied to both the 3550 and the AX15 transmission so stay tuned. All right, now that we've seen what comes in the box, let's go ahead and take a look and see how it works. We're gonna go ahead and bolt it up both to the AX15 and the NV3550 so you can see exactly how it's all gonna to work together and give you that perfect NV3550 AX15 shifter bracket for your Peugeot replacement. Let's take a look. Okay, so we're back with the transmission, the shifter bracket, some of the parts that you're gonna to need to retain. I'm gonna show you how they look and how to take them apart and what's gonna need to be kept and what can be thrown away, or not thrown away, but you're just parts you're not gonna use anymore. So this right here is a factory style transfer case shifter linkage bracket. This one happens to be off an automatic application because it's the only one I have laying around today. But they all kind of function the same and look a lot the same, so you'll get the idea. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to grind the rivets off the top here, uh, both this location and this location. That will allow you to remove the gating piece here because that will need to be retained and be used on the new bracket. So once those rivets are off, uh, pop that gate off. This is what that's going to look like, the gating by itself. Uh, some of the other pieces you're going to need to retain are the shifter handle. That is removed by uh, a detent spring piece here, and on this side, both front and back, those need to be pressed, and that will allow for the shifter handle to come off. Uh, those pieces look a lot like this. This is the spring piece here. As you can see, the detent clip there and on there, when they're pressed, that allows that to come off. This is the handle here, so this would be on here. This is the this is the spring clip we're talking about. This would be inside here. You have another two locations pressed, and this allows us to come off of here. The other main important piece that you need is the spring-loaded main shift handle assembly here. Uh, it has a big bolt here in the middle, retaining bolt, and a nut on the back side. Once that is removed, you'll be left with the bolt, the shifter assembly, and the bushing. So you have a bolt that goes through, you have a bushing on both sides, that, and this bushing goes here, and you'll need to retain this piece as well. All right, so let's go ahead and see how this stuff goes together in both the AX15 and the uh, New Venture 3550 application. All right, so now my general manager and president of Advanced Adapter is going to come in here and show you guys exactly how it's going to go on this transmission, so stay tuned and do that comes right up. So we're ready to go ahead and assemble the 715545 uh, bracket. And like this bracket is designed to fit two different transmissions. So on this one, we've added this little bracket or add-on bracket to fit the 3550 transmission. And it bolts onto this bracket, uh, the main bracket with two 3 8 uh, 16 by one inch bolts on there. And it basically picks up uh, the lower hole or, or mid hole of the 3550 transmission. You can see that there's two sets of holes. The 3550 had two sets of uh, hole rotations depending on the application it came out of. Uh, when they were in like Jeep Liberties and Cherokees, uh, you'll see that uh, some of these transmissions would have a lower hole rotation. So we've 
allow this bracket to have either or, either or rotation on there. So on this one, uh, since I don't have the stock Jeep studs because I don't have the transfer case put on here, we'll use some other uh, fasteners just to mount the bracket up in there for the, uh, the purpose of this video. So when we're going to go ahead and assemble the, the rest of the bracket on here, we don't have a nut on the back here. So we're just going to basically go ahead and slip the, uh, the handle up in here. And basically it's spring loaded so it, gets a, it fights you a little bit on there. Bushings are all installed in there and you have to uh, kind of fight it a little bit off that. You have a new nut, a new uh, flat washer put on there and you would tighten that down. Uh, from there you have your gate, you would put that on there and you have your two new uh, uh, small bolts that you would basically put down through the, uh, the bracket. Just laying, they, they actually have a little slot in there and then the, the handle's actually fighting there a little bit with the spring loaded there. Um, and go ahead and nut those on the back side. And these are all nylon lock nuts, so once they go on, uh, they'll basically should stay on there forever. And before you would install the handle, you'd want to install your whole transmission assembly into the vehicle because as you're lowering this in or, or putting it in from the bottom, you wouldn't want to have this uh, involved with the, the tunnel area of your, of your vehicle. So uh, you could install this onto the, the vehicle at that point in time. Uh, it should be low enough uh, profile to get into the vehicle or, or install uh, why it's mounted in there. So if your transfer case was installed, uh, you'd have studs. Go ahead and set that in there and basically bolt it up on there. It'll be a lot easier to install it while it's out on the bench uh, rather than while it's under the vehicle on there. And then you can go ahead and test your linkage. And once it's in the vehicle, then you would go ahead and put your shift handle in place. Advanced Adapters now manufactures a new replacement handle for the transfer case gated shifters. Uh, the stock clip that uh, Jeep used on this handle uh, gets a little worn out uh, and it's almost, uh, in a lot of applications, it's almost like installing the stock handle without the clip. Uh, a lot of Jeeps you'll get into, you'll get a lot of wobble or a lot of play on this handle and it's just the, the clip is worn out or there's just a lot of play on the handle itself. So what we did is when we were doing an installation, we found that it was easier to replace this handle and replace this clip than try to go out and find something new. And the handle that, or the actual knob itself, it's faded. The the, uh, the clear uh, cover on the, the shift label is worn out. It's been uh, in the sun for quite a few years. It just doesn't look real nice on there. So you're putting a nice new drivetrain in there. Might as well get some new bling on, on the vehicle. And, and so what we did at Advanced Adapters, we came out and we basically made a direct replacement knob for uh, the transfer case and it basically slips right onto the, the stock handle. One thing you do have to do on this is the stock transfer case handle is very squared off uh, and you do have to run a sander uh, up on the corners just because the, the tubing that we use on it uh, is a drawn over mandrel uh, tubing so it, it's rounded on the corners a little bit so you do have to put a little bit of sandpaper or a little uh, disc grinder on that just so it slips down on there. We have a set screw that sits on there but it makes it nice and tight. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, set the set screw on there. Along with the handle we also give you a brand new laser etch knob, aluminum, uh, that basically has your new shift pattern. So you get rid of that old plastic handle or plastic knob uh, this has a set screw that once you uh, set it on the knob, you can go ahead and lock it into position. So you go ahead and, and set it in place. Get the desired location. Put your allen wrench in here, which is also supplied with the knob and the handle. And you're all set. And the boot fits right around there. It uh, looks like a factory application, but nice new knob on there for you. All right, thanks, Mike. We're going to go ahead and grab the AX15 now and go over the AX15 application so you guys can see exactly how to do it on your AX15. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, we now have the AX15 transmission here in front of us, and I also have the bracket that we were working with uh, previously that was installed on the, the new Venture 3550. 
the difference in between the two bracket installations is basically this um, uh, little add-on bracket that we put on uh, the, the for the 3550 install. Uh, when we do it, do the install installation on the AX15. Basically, all we do is we take this bracket and we basically don't use it. So as you can see, there's a third hole in this bracket, and this third hole is actually used for the AX15. So basically what we do on this one is we bolt onto uh, the AX15 boss, the standard tail housing boss that's on every AX15. So this one's already bolted up on here. It's using the new process 231 studs. So this one's already mounted up on there and mounted to the stud. Shifter's nice and uh, secure. I can go anywhere. So one of the things that we found when we developed this bracket is this bracket it was originally designed for a Peugeot replacement. So most people, when they were buying this bracket, they were taking out of Peugeot and they had the factory Peugeot linkage, meaning the linkage from this point to the transfer case. And we we're given a bracket that was putting the linkage back on an AX15 or a New Venture 3550 in this exact same location. So this linkage rod was exactly the same. Well, we also get a lot of customers that are replacing AX5s uh, AX4s, um, automatic transmissions, uh, and putting the, the AX15s or 3550s. Well, in those transmissions, this rod is a different length, and it's usually shorter, and the only way of modifying this rod is cutting it and adding a little section of rod in there. Uh, they do have a little bit of adjustment in there, which is off this little uh, set screw uh, slider mechanism here. And so we looked at it, and it's really uh, easily uh, an item that we can replace, actually. Uh, there's a little bushing that fits on the handle itself. It's a little rubber grommet, and there's one also on the shift lever on the transfer case. So what we did is we basically said, let's pull those things out. Let's get rid of this lever. And it's not required on everything, but we basically made it an upgrade kit. We came out with a rod end kit. It's fully adjustable. It has uh, all thread in here with jam nuts. Uh, and then we're using 5 16 bolts that come through uh, the, the uh, shift handle and through the, the uh, transfer case shifter uh, lever. And then you can basically adjust this in or out uh, accordingly. And you can certainly cut the, the all thread if you need to be. Uh, but this is set up for the Peugeot setup. The, the all thread is set up for this bracket. Uh, this part number is a 715545C. Thank you, Mike. All right, so there we have it. The 715545 transfer case shifter linkage bracket from Advanced Adapters. Brand new design, all kinds of new features, and also new add-ons to go with that with the handles and the linkage, bra the linkage rods and all that good stuff. So check it out online, 715545 from Advanced Adapters. This has been What's in the Box. I've been Dustin, and you guys have been great. We'll catch you next time.